in terms of goods and services, we are looking at a figure of 77% and more of how goods are ferried from one market to another. When it comes to commuters, people going to work, people moving from country to country, road accounts for 90% of how people move across the African continent. Shipping, this is how African minerals and African resources are led to the international market. Shipping constitutes 62% of how goods are moved in the continent and out of the continent. Air travel, although it's glamorized by Nollywood and Hollywood, it only really accounts for about 28% of cargo that moves in and out of the African continent. And then rail, even though we've got about 100,000 kilometers of railway lines, only 1% of goods that move through African markets are moved by train. I'm talking you through these figures because if you look at them, you could say, well, it's an indictment. Rail at 1%, it suggests that we haven't invested in sufficient rail infrastructure or that there isn't maintenance, and that's true. And the conversations we're going to have here today will speak to some of those issues. But if you prefer to look at the glass as half full, then you could say 1% that gives us almost 90% worth of opportunities to fix African rail, to modernize African rail, and to bring it into international best practice. Our view here today is that the glass is half full and that the opportunities to optimize transport, the transport sector and the opportunities within transportation, aviation, rail, and road are immense. We're going to talk you through bankable projects, we're going to talk you through opportunities, and we're going to talk you through innovation, because we believe so much can be unlocked through the sector of the economy, especially as we look towards economic recovery in what we hope will be a post-COVID world into the future. The logistics sector, ladies and gentlemen, is worth over $160 billion in Africa today. And if we make the necessary investments, we could push up demand for freight to 28% within the next eight years. This is what we're hoping to do through this conversation, is show you the wealth of opportunities and show you what can be done when we invest in the transport sector, when we invest in infrastructure that supports the transport sector, and when we encourage people to visit our magnificent continent and really catalyze transportation through tourism as well. So with those few words, it is me again saying the warmest welcome to the fifth African Business Forum brought to you by the UNECA, Google, and Africa 24. Please make sure that you post your questions, that we can pose them to our distinguished guests when we're having our conversations. Please enjoy the conference. And again, please see the glass as half full. Without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our host, she is the UN Under Secretary General and the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Please welcome Dr. Vera Songwe.